I'm Hilary Mulek, a wedding photographer based in the Carolinas, and this video is part two of a two-part video. So last week, I released a video talking about how I cull sneak peek photos after a wedding day. I go through all of my raw images, cull and pick photos that I'm gonna edit for their sneak peek gallery. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I edit those sneak peek photos and export them to upload into a gallery to send to my couple. And my couples love sneak peek photos. It's just a great way for them to see sneak peeks of their wedding photos before I get the full gallery done and delivered six to eight weeks after their wedding day. Take a look. All right, so in a previous video, I showed you guys how I cull sneak peek photos after a wedding day. Now this is the second part of that video, how I bring those photos into Lightroom, edit them, to get ready to send the sneak peek photos to the client after the wedding day. So here is that same wedding, Hannah and Connor's wedding. I have uploaded these all into Adobe Lightroom. I create a new catalog for each one of my weddings sessions. It just makes it a whole lot easier if I have to go back to these photos later, which I will when I edit the full gallery or get it ready to send to my editor. So I have created a new catalog in Adobe Lightroom. I put the date, the name of the wedding, uploaded all the images. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a collection set. This is going to come in handy when I cull the rest of the photos, bring them into Lightroom, and then I like to separate all the photos into categories. It makes it a lot easier for editing, it makes it a lot easier for exporting the photos and putting them into the final gallery. So that's what I'm going to set up now. I'm gonna start by creating a collection set. And this collection set, I'm just gonna name it the couple's name. Hannah and Connor wedding, perfect, there it is. And then I'm going to create a collection within the collection set and this collection is gonna be called Sneak Peeks. Perfect. And then later I can go ahead and add more collections within this collection set like getting ready photos, portraits, family photos, ceremony, but I'm not gonna do that now. I'm just gonna start with the sneak peeks. So I'm gonna go up here, do all the images that I imported, select them all, Command A, and then I'm just going to drag them here into the sneak peek folder. So there we go. We have all the sneak peek images here, 150. In the previous video when I called, I had mentioned that don't ever feel pressured to include tons of images into your sneak peek gallery. I've included as little as 15, 50 images, 75 images. This one is 150. As I have been working with an editor and I don't edit all of my photos anyways, I find that for me, it's easiest for my calling of sneak peek photos is to just grab a few photos from every section of the day edit those so that way when I finish culling the photos, I can put them here in my Lightroom catalog, separate the photos into categories over here in the collections and send them to my editor and my editor can look and see my sneak peek images, all the images that I have edited from each portion of the day and match those edits to the rest of those images from that portion of the day. It just makes that process with my editor go a lot smoother. So here we go, all of these sneak peek images are in here. I'm gonna just start editing. I'll edit a few so that you guys can see and then I'll go through and finish the rest and show you how I export them. So here, I'm just gonna open this up into my develop and I use the archetype presets. And so here I just have some of my favorites. I just start with one. Perfect. And these edits do not have to be perfect. Wonderful. Great. On to some of these details for the groom. Sometimes as I'm sometimes as I'm editing, I'll click shift and R 
and that'll bring up a reference window. So if I'm editing a bunch of photos that are in the same type of lighting, I can drag one of these photos in as a reference photo and then just make sure that each of the photos that I select for this window just match. So that looks good. Go to the next one. This is a little bit on the warmer side, so I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. Brighten it up. And see so now it matches a lot more with this image. I've done a previous YouTube video on how I keep my editing consistent by using this feature on Adobe Lightroom by using the reference window. All right, so I'm gonna go up here to library and already I have edited these first eight photos. So I'm gonna go through and finish editing the rest of these sneak peek images and I'll be right back. I have finished editing all the sneak peeks. So you can see them here, here's their getting ready. Some first looks, portraits, family photos, ceremony, portraits of them after the ceremony, their reception, a few first dance shots, one shot of bride dancing with dad, one shot of groom dancing with mom, some cake cutting, a few fun dance floor shots, a couple of their private of their private last dance, and then here is our sparkler exit. So all in all, I have 130 photos that I'm going to deliver as sneak peeks. So I'm going to select all of these photos and then go to export. And I have three different exporting settings. I'm gonna click Wedding Sneak Peaks and choose their folder. So they are Hannah and Connor. I'm gonna choose that folder. I'm gonna rename the Sneak Peaks. And then here I just have it resized to fit the long edge of 6,000. And I say don't enlarge. So if for some reason some of the image files are a little bit smaller, then it won't mess with those. And then I have the start number as one. So I'm gonna go ahead and export these. So there they are getting ready to export. And then once these are done exporting, here on my uh, pick time, which is where I deliver galleries, I've already created their gallery. So at Hannah and Connor Wedding at Ronaldo Gardens and Forsyth Country Club, there's their wedding date. And then if I go here to photos, I have multiple folders that are already created to put images in. So I'm gonna put all their sneak peek photos in here and I'll send them to them after these are done exporting. And then when I finish culling the wedding, send them to my editor, get them back from my editor, I will export each of the folders because remember we created some different collection folders here. So I will export each of those folders. I will import them into the different sections here on their gallery and then send them the full gallery when it's done. Thank you for watching. Hope this information will be helpful for you next time you are editing sneak peek images and sending them to your couples after their wedding day. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comment section down below. Also in the description, I have a free download for you guys. It is a link to my exact pre-wedding questionnaire that I sent to all of my couples four months before the wedding day. So four months before the wedding day, I send my couples this questionnaire. It's over 60 questions that are really important for me to know the answers to for their wedding day. It talks about all of their wedding details, their timeline, family photos, and just everything that I need to know to be the best photographer that I could be on their wedding day and to help them be happy and relaxed knowing that I have all the information that is important to them. So if you would like a copy of my exact pre-wedding questionnaire that I send to my clients, click the link in the description down below. Thank you for watching again, and I will see you next week for another YouTube episode. Bye guys.